fun to recognize the semi-obscure porno name I had taken on. But I was still a bit ambivalent about actually being part of the crew. Although when I showed up for work the next day, I did see something I never would have expected on the porno set. I couldn't think of the last set I'd been on where the lead actress had just sort of volunteered to make breakfast for the crew. It's hard being a mother and a diva whore. <laughs> a diva whore. We have a little bit of cloudy weather. Jeff and Gina have worked together quite a bit in the past, and I think Jeff may have had her in mind when he wrote this script. She plays a bored housewife who is taken to prostitution during the day while her husband is at work to pick up the pace of her life a bit. The only actual words spoken throughout the film come from Wally, the oh wacky God, weather woman. A wacky weather report cloud burst. Oh, I decided to take full advantage oh, of the situation down, and set up an interview with Gina that evening using Jeff's rented lights and camera. I want to know more about being a mother and a diva whore. I'm saying, the elbow of California. <laughs> When I say I'm a whore, that's a good thing. And if you go back before the Catholic Church, being a whore and a prostitute was a sacred thing. I still hold that theory. Obviously, I'm going to have to teach him about sex as sex. And the sex that I have with Daddy is different than the sex that I, you know, had to, you know, make all the money that just bought you your car for your 16th birthday, you know. Do you think the way you're raising him is different from the way your mother raised you? Yeah, um, my mom, first of all, she had me when she was 19. She was unmarried. Um, she was under a lot of pressure. You know, she was going to school and uh, working at the same time, so she didn't have time to enjoy me She's growing cheap. up. You know, all the little things that Braxton does, I get to see through loving, relaxed, secure eyes, you know, my mother was going through, you know, quite a trip. When do you see yourself explaining that, like, your profession to him? When it comes up, you when know. You. Yeah. I mean, obviously we're not going to have movies on, mm -hmm. you know, before he's able to comprehend them, but I would much rather have him watch a movie of a man and a woman making love than of a man raping and you know, abusing a woman, uh, you know, uh, much rather have them watch uh, an X-rated movie than, uh, you know, massacres and, and bloodshed and hatred. You know. After ten years in this business, Gina easily slips into the practiced, somewhat defensive rhetoric that has come about under the intense moral scrutiny of our society. Now that I'm getting to know people better, it's almost like I'm becoming their confidant, their way of sending messages out to the so-called straight world. I find myself a little guiltily, hoping they don't trust me too much. It's it's all how many we can do a month, hurry up and finish, crank them out, punch them out, as Bill Morgan says, punch them out.